So we've got this guy sitting here in this scene, what looks like a snowy background. And I wanted to add some very subtle effects to give it a little bit more of believability that he really is sitting in that area. So what I wanted to do was add some rosiness to his cheeks. Let's start with that. Uh, what I did is in, in Paint Shop Pro, or you could use Photoshop, I created a still image over the top of a frame captured from the original video. And I just drew in some red blotches and put that on a black background and lined them up with the face. Then I take that image into my video editor and I overlaid that on top of the moving video using add as the compositing method. If your editor has compositing functions, there are different ways that you can tell a layer of video to interact with whatever it's over the top of. And in this case, I wanted to choose add because when you add, black equals zero. It won't add anything. And any colored areas of the images are going to enhance what's beneath it. Now we've got that over the top of the image. And we're going to tone down the opacity a little bit so that it blends a little bit with what's underneath it. And finally, I needed to make it move when he would tilt his head back and forth. I wanted those the rosiness of the cheeks to appear that it was coming from the original image. I just did that within my video editor. I keyframed the movement of that layer, in my case in Vegas, but you could do it in After Effects or in your video editor if it supports that kind of thing. And here's an example of showing what that looks like. Now I want to add some cold breath to this guy to, to come out whenever he speaks. And it's the same basic concept. I created a series of still images with black background. Basically, I was drawing right on a frame I had captured, but I drew on a separate layer, so it's almost like a transparency. Gave it a black background and drew approximately 10 different iterations of this white breath growing and then fading. I'm not going to get into the details of how I did those, but I mean, basically, it was just a white blotch that would grow from a central point and then that would fade out. So we take those breath stills and we put those over the top of the image with add as the overlay method. And then we tune down the opacity and it blends in rather well. Hello, Charles Boebuck here, talking to you today on behalf of... Oh yeah, Toyota